Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. And if you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. <clears throat> if you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video. If you would like to enter to win $200 drawn on March 1st, you can do that by liking, subscribing to all YouTube channels, which are linked in the description of this video, as well as commenting blessing. Taurus, we are seeing what is coming for you from now until the end of February. Um, you have the web and the plane. Some of you are setting sail on an adventure. You are thinking about traveling, planning travel. My daughter is a Taurus and her and her boyfriend are actually planning some travel. There is somebody who has weaved a web, a web of lies, perhaps. Somebody wants to get you in their web <clears throat> or has you in their web. We have the letter O, S, X, the letter L. This could be your first, middle, last city, state, their first, middle, or last what is coming from Taurus from now until the end of February, please? What is coming for Taurus? Take the cake, deserve the reward, have it your way, wanting it all, not settling for less. Congratulations. That is what you have been doing. You're not settling for less. There's somebody uh, that's very nervous around you that you give butterflies. You could have a start of a new romance. Some of you just started talking to someone new and they're really into you. They're trying to figure out if you're into them. There's somebody who's replaying events over and over in their mind, going round and round. They're stuck in the past. They have outdated ways of thinking. This person has their own um, way of doing things or something. There's something like that as well. They seem to be you know, their own person. They look at life the way they do. It may be very unique, but a bit outdated. Luck is on your side. Romantic success. Love is in the air. Happy outcome, but delayed gratification. Unfinished business. Someone feels that you're waiting for them. There's someone that's replaying something over and over in their mind. What? What are they replaying? They're overthinking, reaching out. High Priestess in reverse. You could have found something out about them. Some of you found something out about a person that you were dating. It may have been casual or it may have been new. Or you could have found out that your um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife just started something new with a karmic. You found something out and they are overthinking what they're going to say to you. Some of you loaned this person money or gave them a lot of things. You were very generous with them. They look at you like you are the star. You are the star in this person's world. This could be an Aquarius, an Earth sign, or a Pisces. This person has either left you out in the cold or they are now feeling left out in the cold of your life. Some of you, this person has lost their job. They have fell on hard times and they are embarrassed. They don't know what to say to you. Tell me about those Tauruses who are meeting a new person, romantic success, love in the air, new relationship, please. You have a lot of options, Taurus, but you're still dealing from some heartache. You could have just met somebody that's a little inconsistent. Some of you have a friends with benefits with, with a person. It could be brand new. Or you could meet somebody who unfortunately just wants friends with benefit. It's been very slow, but you're moving on. You're slowly moving ahead and you're trying to put behind you this ten, these ten swords. You're pulling them out of your back one by one and you're healing. Whoever this was that, tell me why ten of swords, put ten swords in your back. <clears throat> they seem to feel like you... Wow. This person lies. They are a liar. 
They've betrayed you many times. You could have children to them. They, they put you on a very high pedestal. This seems to have been a past life relationship. The good news about Ten Swords is it's the end. After um, this tower moment and this betrayal comes happiness, joy, healing. You could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, or a Scorpio. A lot of healing, a lot of a lot of vitality being sent to you right now. Some of you, this happened October, November time. Um, you found out somebody was cheating or they left you or something of the sort. And you are now um, working towards being very um, mind over heart. Making some clear decisions, cutting things out of your life that that are no longer serving you, and you're moving on. And because of that, you have a new soul connection manifesting in. You're manifesting a new soul connection. What does this past person want? They feel like you have unfinished business. Some of you, you have a past person and a new relationship on the way. This past person's very hasty, and they're going to come in um, out of the blue in the double energy but as i said brand new soul connection coming in for you a beautiful two of cups connection equal reciprocity i pour into you you pour into me this past person's coming back um but they could be a capricorn there is a lot of earth here or this person is just very toxic and low vibrational you could feel chained to them. Some of you are having nightmares about this person, dreams about them. They're having dreams about you. There are some things that need to be finished out between the two of you karmically as well. The message I'm receiving is there are some lessons still left to learn for some of you. Or things that need closed out. What does this person keep replaying? What do they keep replaying? They're overthinking and replaying things in their mind. Um, how they're going to uh, apologize, what they're going to say, just going round and round. We project our patterns onto each other. This makes it difficult to see what is real and what is fear-based. I wanted to send you a message today, but I was afraid to. I don't know if you want to hear from me or if I can even say the right things. You see what I mean? This person wants to reach out. They want to talk. They want to express themselves, but they are afraid they're not going to say the right thing, Taurus. They don't know what to say. They fear uh, being judged by you because they put you on a very high pedestal. There's a secret that came out. In the next two weeks, this person could come back in. They could finally get the courage. What are they going to do? Finally get the courage to reach out to you. Family ties, this person, you, you could have children to them. They took you for granted, though. But this was to help you grow, not only as an individual, but um, as, as a couple. They could still have family ties to a karmic. There's something that needs to be closed out before this connection could move forward with any kind of, um, you know, success. What about those Tauruses meeting a new person? Glow up, overcoming illness and negativity, feeling confident, being on the right path, connecting with others, positive vibes, and a new phase in life. If you are ready, this is this is where you are. You have went through a glow up or you're uh, on your way to a glow up. Overcoming these swords, pulling them out your back, really becoming the best you you can be. You could be 31. 61 for some this person could be you could have just turned 60 and you're looking great you're looking fabulous see you're at the fool's journey zero zero limitless potential reset finish line success it serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished if you can dream it there is no reason you can't make it a reality 
if something is in the possession of another person, it also is available to you. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you will not pass you by. Let go of tension and relax. Spirit's wanting you to just let go and let, let God. You're at, you're at the beginning. You're at the fool's journey. And you have limitless potential, Taurus. Limitless in your love life and in your life in general. Scorpio time, something seems to have happened in the fall. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Use your hidden magic, intense, passionate, and mystery. We also have Pisces season. As I said, there's something about by March 20th. Feel when the time is right. Creative, intuitive, and emotions. And may connect to your dream and be in the moment. The divine is asking you to relax a little bit. And, and just let go. Somebody could have been born in May. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Or these seasons will be very important to you and your journey. You may start feeling really creative. Like you want to um, work on a new project or, or just craft even. It will help open up your sacral. I hope you have the best two weeks ever, and I will see you again soon, Taurus. Love and light.